Alright, welcome back to SOS and Fast Arm Badass, and today we're making a knife sheath, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet, I haven't figured it out, but first time I made a knife sheath for this particular knife, and let's see what it looks like. Alright, like all my knife sheaths, when I get started, this thicker piece is going to be for my extra layer that's going in here. Uh, before I get started, this is a, it's a 192, yeah, the 192 buck model, there you go that guy uh, it comes with a really nice sheath but it's actually rubber it's not actual leather I'll pull it over here it's made in Mexico the Mexico sheath is uh, rubber it's not it's not leather it's weird I, I hate it when they do this they make it look so good like it's actual leather but it's not it's it's actually rubber uh, so uh, we've got rubber and now we're gonna make one that's leather and this is a uh, going to be rather unique because I'm not doing it in their fashion because they have multiple pieces instead of one piece it's uh you can tell it's a factory type ordeal you know it's all stamped approved you know you've got this loop back here and stuff you 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 don't have to add a loop make a loop for the thing right so uh I've got some uh this is five ounce leather and this five ounce leather I'm going to actually make a solid loop uh, it's going to be one piece and one piece for the snap I want to do a sideways ordeal, okay? That's what I want to do. I want this to come over like this. Uh, the individual that wants the knife sheath wants this uh, traditional snap like Rambo type stuff. It, it, it's just a regular plain Jane like all the other sheaths out there, but it doesn't, it's not really going to hold the knife very well because the knife has a fat handle to it. You can't really do a circular type ordeal here it's not going to hold it in so i'm going to show you what you need to do all right and i'm going to make it right now so you start off you can either use your sheath which i don't need anymore uh, get out of here mexico all right so just kidding all right <laughs> all right there's a you just take it kind of roll it I don't need that much material, but it's always good to have a little more. And you want to know how far, like if it's going to be left-handed, I would leave it like this. If it's going to be right-handed, I flip it like this. Now, since it's going to be right-handed, it's going to go, you just go all the way up. You want your loop to be here. So you know you got that much. So you take the same amount of that, boom, and just come all the way up to here. And then mark where it's going to go, boom, and that's where you're going to cut it at. So you got the right amount to do your fold, and then you need to have something for your, uh, something for your, uh, this part here. This part of the knife here is what you want to lash in place. So right about there, you want to kind of do this number, so you know where it's going to go. So it's going to go there, and uh, at least there. So you, you've got that part figured out. So you know it's going to go there and there, and then it's going to snap somewhere right over. We'll figure that out later. All right, now we cut. And that's what it should look like when you get it cut out. As you can see, it's going to fold back like this behind the knife. And you'll have one nice piece. And then this is going to come over like this. And you're going to have one solid piece and it's going to snap. So you see how easy that is? Nice and easy project. Now I just need to cut out my little blade stop here so I don't end up with a mess. Uh, so I just got to determine how much of that I'm going to need. Let's see. Move you over there. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Oh, that should work. I don't need this much, but I just want to know where it is. Where is the piece? up and in about like that that should do a trick my kids are going crazy again there we go now I just need to cut that out 
once you get it cut out just glue it in place like I always do here and let it set and let it dry uh, try and get it as close to the edge as possible so you, you don't have to sand so much when you're done that's another thing that it always irritates me is sometimes I kind of uh, offset it a little bit by accident I don't catch it in time and it dries and then I'm left with a lot of sanding to do so uh, to avoid that try and get it right on the edge so uh, well let's let this dry and then I'll I'll connect it up while this is drying I'm going to go ahead and put my snap in place for this outside piece so I don't end up having to do it afterwards so that's already in place there I'm just gonna put my pieces together I don't want to do this later it's gonna to be too hard to reach in there so I'd rather go ahead and do it now done now still dry but at least I got my snap on all right they're glued together now and just gotta let that dry now gotta make my holes That big one's for the rivet. I need that big hole for the rivet. They usually don't go that far in. Right now we just gotta stitch it up yep, just stitching it up go all the way down and all the way back up all right once you get stitched up I'm looking at some artsy fartsy stuff I kind of want to Add a little curve to this just to give it a different kind of look on the back side there instead of just a square right so you just kind of do something like that you can leave it with a point don't matter bring it down like that and just yeah just leave that there it'll be fine uh, yeah, just find yourself a home for it like that and then uh, bring it down here. See what I'm doing? Put it over here. Bring it in there like that. Go ahead and add another one. Add them kind of side by side. A little bit stiffer there. Might last a little bit longer. You don't want anything hanging off the edge. There you go. There that is. And determining how much. Let's see. Let's just see. So still got a diet and everything too. There's that. Bring that all the way in. Nice and solid. Bring this down. Just like that. Up and over. You just want to pull it tight, kind of press, 
There we go. I just need to know how much room I need. There we go. You leave an imprint and an impression there. Now I've got my impression. Take this guy here. Get my other side to this. I just gotta find that. There's one of those. And find my other one. There's a round end. I didn't say round eye. <laughs> Crazy round eye. You silly Americans. There we go. Come on, round eye. that pretty good now kind of want to round that off a little bit I don't need that much material that's a lot Whoa. Mm that's work looks all right Let's see will it work will it work let's get some breaking in to do I don't want to push all the way down in there All right, you're not losing it. Now, that's much cleaner than what the other one is. Less sheath than the other one. A lot less sheath. So you lo lose that whole wad of section there that you don't even need. It's just a waste of space. You can't put your hand on it. At least this way you can, you got your finger, you grab, just like that. And I mean, one rip, I mean, you can just, you can yank it out and it would kill it. So that way, the whole point of this is to quickly, just like that, get to that cross pattern each time. So, <laughs> all right, all right, T Rex stamp, T Rex stamp of approval. Just gotta make sure I get this centered on there good. Nice little stamp. All right. Look, everyone. There's a butterfly on my glove. All right. I'm not going to wear two things of glove. I just need something to hold on to it while I'm work. I roll it up so in case it runs down my arm. I'm going to use my, use my paintbrush today. Paint some happy trees. At least this way I don't get it all over me again like I usually do. This is the messy part and it stinks. It's stinky. Alright. I'm just going to finish dyeing this up. I want to use some uh, uh, sheen here in a minute. I'll show you guys that. Looks very cool already. Just need to dry. All right. There you have it. It is complete. That is it. Do -do -do. <laughs> People want to know. It's got a nice, nice color to it. It's really hard to see with the light, but it definitely matches the knife perfect. Yeah, it's a lot better than the other sheath. All right, you're watching SOS. I'm Stassi Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Take it easy.